Welcome to the Appointment Search webinar. In this webinar, we will learn how to set up Appointment Search, how to use Appointment Search, and how to use Advanced Search. The Appointment Search is a useful feature to easily find available openings in your appointment module without having to click through each day's schedule. This feature even includes filters to find a time and date that will work best for your patients. For appointment search to work correctly, we will need to be sure to set up the providers within the operatories and set up the provider schedules. For details on how to do this, please see our operatory and schedule setup webinar linked in the description below. Before we move into setting the filters for our appointment search to work, we will want to go over the provider time on procedures and the provider time on appointments. First, we will come into our list and procedure codes to look at the provider time on the procedure. As you can see here over on the left hand side of the time pattern, this is the time pattern that is allocating the provider or hygienist time to this procedure. The hygienist time will be marked by the slashes and the provider's time will be marked by the X's. If needed, you can simply click and drag to change that time or if needed, you can change the hygienist time to provider time by clicking on it and changing it to an X, or you can simply click on it again to change it back to the hygienist time. Now that we've seen the procedure time, let's go ahead and look at the appointment time. If you double click on any of your appointments on your schedule, you'll be able to see the appointment time over here on the side. This appointment time is going to tell us how much of that time is allocated to the provider and how much of that time is allocated to the hygienist. Again, you can click and drag if you need to change the appointment time here. And if you needed to change any of that time to have the provider on the schedule longer or shorter, you can just click and change. Now that we've gone over the provider time on procedures and on appointments, we can go ahead and move into our appointment module preferences. In our appointment module preferences, we have two options for setting up the search behavior that the appointment search feature will use. The first option is provider time. This search behavior will be looking for a time slot available anywhere where the provider's time and the provider's availability line up. It's important to remember that the provider time does not equal the appointment's length. For instance, if the appointment ends at 9.30, but the provider is only allocated to that appointment until 9.10, then 9.10 will be the time that will show up in the appointment search. The second option that we have is the provider time operatory. In the provider time operatory, it'll be looking for the same information as the provider time search behavior, but it will limit it to only when the provider's appointed operatory is available. This is very useful for offices that have their providers scheduled to a specific operatory. As you can see from those search behaviors, setting up the provider times correctly on appointments is essential when using the appointment search feature. Now that we have all of our filters set up to use the appointment search feature, we can start by moving over appointments to the pin board. One way that you can do this is to simply click and drag your appointment from the appointment module to your pin board. Another option you have is to right click on any appointment and copy to pin board. Or you can also use the make appointment button at the top. And any appointment created from there will automatically go onto the pin board. As you can see, you can have multiple appointments on your pin board at once. If needed, you can always clear out those appointments from the pin board by clicking the clear button and selecting what appointment you want to move. Now that we have our appointment here on the pin board, we can go ahead and start searching for availability. We'll use the search option here. And now we will see in the openings and view list here, all of the openings for the provider on that appointment. The list is going to be showing us the provider's first available appointment time for the next 10 days based on the search behavior that we selected in the appointment module preferences. If needed, you can always use the more button right here to search for more days and more times. One of the filters that we have on the appointment search is the date and time restrictions. The date and time restrictions can be set up to look for openings only in the availability of the patient. 
For instance, if this patient is only available before 4 p.m. and after 10 a.m., we can put those in here, click search, and we can see that has changed our appointment times here now. Another option that you have is to search by additional providers or hygienists who are on this appointment view. If we click search by providers, we can see that the openings in view will change times based on the providers. If we click search by hygienist, we can also see that the time will change based off of the hygienist. If needed, you can also click the providers button to search for additional providers or additional hygienists. To highlight your hygienist, you can simply click the hygienist button and to highlight your providers, simply click the providers button. We also have the advanced filter here at the top. This advanced filter will allow you to search by clinics if your office has clinics set up, by appointment view, or by block out, which will be very helpful for offices that use block scheduling and allow specific appointments at specific times. Now that we have our openings available, we can go through all of these time periods and we can move our appointment to the selected time and day. Thank you for joining us for today's webinar. If you have additional questions, please contact our support line at 503-363-5432 or access our complete online manual at opendental.com. And to make sure you're staying up to date on our latest training videos, make sure you subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications.